up, you guys? Welcome back to the show. Lynn Five and here we go with another MLB 2K13 My Player Series in the My Player Series. I'm going up against Los Angeles Dodgers, Matt Kemp. Ooh, man, he used to be so good, and now he is, uh, man, he is a forgotten man in Los Angeles. We're going up against Harry Reynolds. You guys may not know who this is. It's actually Ryu, but they didn't know uh, his name, or they didn't have rights to his name or something. So, uh, yeah, it's Harry Reynolds that we're going up against. Don't, don't ask me why they chose Harry Reynolds. Don't ask me why. It's, that, it's like when, when they did that John Dow thing for Barry Bonds or whatever. Do you guys remember that? But anyway. All right. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about two things. First thing I'm going to talk about is the whole Yasiel Puig fiasco with him. Like, ugh, whatever. I will get into that. And I'm also going to be talking about um, safety in baseball because they have these new padded helmets. And a lot of things have been going out, you know, about pitchers possibly wearing helmets. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. But let's start with Yasiel Puig. So if you guys haven't heard, uh, Yasiel Puig uh, got all of his charges um, dropped from his reckless driving incident. Uh, he will still have to pay the speeding ticket, but all other charges have been dropped. And just so you guys know, he actually had a similar uh, incident when he was in the minors for reckless driving when he was going like 100 miles an hour on like a 30 mile zone or whatever. So this is not, this is nothing new for Yasiel Puig and his people. Um, and my people, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, okay? Take that out of your head. I'm just saying his people, like his crew, okay? Uh, this one guy is going to say about Yasiel Puig. Yasiel Puig is a guy who, you take one look at him, you hear him talk, you know that this guy is very big-headed, okay? He's very big-headed. He thinks that he is the coolest guy. He's uh, he's kind of like the high school mentality, and this isn't just the high schoolers in any way, but you, you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. You guys are on, I mean, he kind of feels like he's on top of the world, nothing can touch him, um, and uh, he's like, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm the best, I'm the best. You're not, okay? You're not, someone needs to humble this guy. You see this a lot from people, you see people acting up like this, getting speeding tickets, thinking that the rules don't apply to them, when no one's actually gotten in the face and said, hey, you know what? The rules do apply to you, just like everyone else. You're nothing special. You need to abide by the rules. And I, <laughs> I say this all the time. We all put our pants on the exact same way. Yasiel Puig, you are the exact same person as the homeless guy who just hangs out in front of Subway every day. You are the same guy who... Who, who just hangs out by the lights and asks for change. That, you are the exact same human being. You do not get any special treatment. And it's really crazy because, I, I, obviously, if you guys haven't seen the video, you can Google it or YouTube would search it or whatever of him, of, of him getting pulled over. But he's so like, oh, please don't, please don't do anything to me. I didn't know what I was doing. That's a bunch of bullshit, yo. You know what you were doing. You knew you were speeding. And you ha like I said, he had this reckless driving uh, incident when he was in the minors, so he knows they shouldn't be driving around going like 120 miles an hour in a 40 mile zone. Like, what the flip are you doing? <sighs> so because of all this stuff, uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers have said, hey, you know what, it's fine. Uh, he admitted to what he was doing, and he agreed to have his, I think it was like his cousin or something, drive him around. You are a grown man. You are a grown man. How can you? This is so frustrating to me. How can you not have? How can you not have the responsibility, or like the just general knowledge to know how to drive correctly? Like you literally have to have another person drive you around because you don't have the know-how of how to drive correctly. That's crazy. It's not like you killed anyone and your license got suspended. Literally, you do not trust yourself on the road. Or something crazy like that. That's insane to me. You're actually having a chauffeur because you can't drive correctly. Blow my mind. And then the Dodgers are going to come out and be like, well, that's good. I mean, he, it shows that, that he wants to get help. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. If he really wanted help, and he would say, hey, you know what? Here's my license. I'm never going to drive again. Or I need to go to, to, to anger management therapy. Or need to go to something. Or, you know, uh, seven, I mean, just do something to him. Punish him somehow. But to have all the charges dropped, it's like, 
That's so stupid. Just special treatment. It's just freaking special treatment. The only way you can stop this mentality from happening uh, is to get people to realize, like I said, they're just like everyone else. Humble them. Someone needs to humble Justin Bieber, for example, okay? Freaking getting drunk. He's not even 21 yet, I don't think. I think he's like 15 or whatever. I don't know, maybe not. But he's getting drunk. He's driving around reckless. He's, he's like drag racing and stuff. Like, who would give this guy alcohol? Come on. It's like when you hang around with all these people that just say yes, 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 yes. Oh, man, you're the best. You're the bestest. It's like then they're just going to be reckless and just going to be crazy. So it pisses me off that all the charges got dropped. Um, leave comments down below. Let me know what you think should have happened to Puig. I think he should have been reprimanded or something. Um, but that's just my opinion. All right. Getting into the whole safety thing in baseball. Obviously, the new helmets have padding in them. Baseball has introduced that. Um, home play collisions have now been something that has been highly talked about uh, because of the concussions. Here's my opinion on it. Home play collisions are very dangerous. They are. Okay. You have a, uh, someone... You have an actual human being running into another human being at full speed. Uh, someone is, is, is raising for the impact, and the other person is being the impactor. Okay? Very dangerous. It can be. Uh, one person has padding. The other one does not. But the one person that always seems to get hurt is the person with the padding. It makes no... <laughs> I'm just saying. It makes no sense to me. Um, but at the same time, it's part of the game. It is part of the game. Uh, you cannot... Take away home plate collisions. Yes, it's dangerous. It is. Okay? But it's literally uh, the fact that, hey, you know what? I'm the catcher. You're not getting by me. You, this is my home plate. Come and get some. Come get yourself some. You know? And then you got the runner being like, all right, you're going to guard that home plate. I'm coming for the home plate. Here I come, bull rushing your ass. That's literally what it is. It's like man versus man, one on one. Who's better? Is it dangerous? Yes. Should they be more careful in certain situations? Yes. But hey, you know what? Just saying, if I was a catcher and I saw Prince Fielder coming at me full speed, I'd be like, all right, Prince, bring your bitch ass on. Let's see who's the better man. Maybe that's just my competitive bitch. All right. I do like the helmets. I like them. Do you guys think pitchers should wear them? Leave comments down below. That's it. I'm going to 5-0. And I'm out.